All right, we have a circuit today that flashes an LED. It's very, very exciting. Everybody likes LEDs. And so this is a uh, circuit that flashes an LED. Now, it uh, uses one component, well, other than the LED, it uses one component, and that is a capacitor. And that's all you need. The IC takes care of the rest, okay? Now these, these ICs have been around for ages. <laughs> so let's take a look at it. All right, this is the LM3909 LED flasher. That's, this chip was made to flash LEDs. That's all it did. <laughs> now, I remember drooling over these when I was, I don't know, in junior high or something. I remember going to Radio Shack and these things were stupid expensive. They were like $5. <laughs> so I never got one. Um, I just looked it up on, on, uh, on Amazon. Some seller has one for $11. <laughs> Yikes. I guess they're still expensive, but it seems like the going price is still around five bucks. So they're just crazy parts. Um, and all they do is flash an LED. Now they're a little bit fancier than maybe a 555 because it'll, op it'll flash the LED on 1.5 volt battery because it has this little charge pump. It has this uh, capacitor here that you have to supply and it charges up that capacitor and then a boom, it dump, dumps all the current into the LED. So you're able to run an LED on very low voltages. Um, and the reason they invented this chip was for uh, like emergency signaling. They have some, some things here, what it was for flashing LED, let's see, flashing, finding flashlights in the dark or locating a boat mooring float. Uh, sales and advertising gimmicks, emergency locators, toys. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, it was just a flash and LED. And uh, it's got some interesting things in the chip. It's got a Zener diode, and it's got a bunch of transistors. And these transistors are marked like they're um, maybe laser trimmed in the factory or something. They have a little line through them. So, yeah, to hook it up, you just hook up the LED and a capacitor and yeah, away you go. Now these things will operate between one and a half and five volts, I think. Um, you can do other things with them. You can fire triacs if you want to fire high voltage things. Um, yeah, a uh, maximum of six volt input. Um, so the interesting thing is they claim if you're gonna flash an LED, uh, It'll, it'll flash for six months on an AA battery, an alkaline AA battery, it'll go six months. And on a C battery, it'll go 15 months. A D battery, it'll go 2.6 years. Yeah, I don't know if anybody really tried that out, but <laughs> anyway, it's a weird little part. Battery voltage and typical current drain. Uh, if you change the input voltage, the, the, the oscillation frequency does change a bit. Um, so that's to be thought about. Uh, typical operating conditions. Uh, how many flashes? Two, two hertz uh, gives you the values you should have. I just grabbed the capacitor I had. I think I had a 300 microfarad capacitor I threw in there. Um, yeah. Uh, what else does the data sheet say? Yeah, so you, you stick it here. So the end of your flashlight, which was back then, the end of your flashlight was an incandescent lamp. And then you put an LED in the back to flash because LEDs weren't bright enough back then. You couldn't use an LED. No one, no one in their right mind would ever have believed that an LED could ever be used as a flashlight. That was just uncomprehensible. Um, uncomprehensible? Incomprehensible? Anyway, uh, never thought of it. <laughs> yep, there you go. And um, in, uh, in this big uh, bunch of parts, I have 10 of them now. I don't know what we're going to do with them. But I've, got, I've got 10 of these guys. Uh, 39 own. These are official national semi-parts. Yeah, LM3909N. Can it through a date code? 68? Hmm. I don't know when that date code would be. 1976? 1986? I don't know. <laughs> they don't look too, too old. Anyway, there you go. Circuit for the day. Flash the LED.